continue to follow developments in a high profile murder case out of Jacksonville Beach. Today, a man charged with the murder of Jared Bridegan was scheduled to appear in court in Orlando, where he was arrested yesterday. Good evening. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. We're glad you're with us. Tonight. And I'm Jessica Clark. Thank you for joining us for First Coast News at 5. Mario Fernandez Saldana is charged with multiple crimes stemming from the murder of a man named Brightigan, who was a father of four. He was gunned down in front of his toddler last year. Now, the fact Fernandez Saldana is married to Brightigan's ex-wife has placed increased attention on her and their relationship. First Coast News has learned that the couple has been residing in different states and they are represented by different attorneys. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner joins us live now at the Duval County Jail. And Brianna, find out a little bit more about this, but right now I know you've been digging like crazy trying to figure out this relationship, this marital relationship. Well, that relationship will all, uh, all about what will that relationship will determine a lot about uh, what information could be used in court. I talked to the Jacksonville defense attorney, Mitch Stone. He says that uh, Shauna Gartner Fernandez uh, could be a witness or she could be a target in this investigation, um, but the couple's wedding vows will keep most of their conversations secret. Mario Fernandez Saldana was arrested and charged in the murder of Jared Brightigan, a father of four who was shot and killed in front of his two-year-old last February. Fernandez Saldana is married to Brightigan's first wife, Shauna Gartner Fernandez. Jacksonville defense attorney Mitch Stone says investigators are obviously interested in hearing from her, but if she were to talk to them about her husband, much of that could not be used in court. When a husband and wife communicate, uh, it's the communicator who holds the key to the privilege and the other spouse is required to honor that. And so if there's a, for instance, uh, a litigation or something where uh, they're trying to uh, uh, find out if a husband said something uh, and the wife might have been present and knows what he said, they can't force her to, to tell uh, what, what was spoken. Stone says even if a conversation is discussing criminal activity, it is protected and that protection works both ways. Obviously, if he wants to reveal something, he can. And then it's a matter of whether it would be admissible or not, because privilege deals with the admissibility of what's going to happen in the courtroom. There are a few narrow exemptions to the spousal privilege, including if the conversation involves harm to a child. And one of the nuances of this case is that there was a child in the back seat when this occurred. And so uh, I suspect they could try to bootstrap the crime into some type of uh, child abuse and uh, thereby um, uh, circumvent the privilege if that becomes an issue. Shauna Gartner Fernandez has not been charged with anything and um, and has publicly denounced any insinuations and uh, as harassment and uh, sensationalism. Um, Mario Fernandez uh, Saldana has not yet um, entered a plea and we reached out to both of their attorneys for comment but have not heard back yet. I'm live here in Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.